Hi and welcome to the video lesson for Never Alone Always Together from the Black Box Revelation. Uh, this lesson consists of two parts. Uh, the first part, this part, um, consists of the uh, entire song. The second part uh, consists of the solo. So if you just want to learn the solo, head over to the second video. Uh, I'll put the link in the section below. If you want to learn the entire song, you're at the right place and uh, we'll get right at it. Alright, so I'll just play the intro and verse part uh, first and then I'll chop it into pieces and we go through it together. Uh, this is what it sounds like. And so on, it's always the same. Um, I will go uh, and take a look at it. Alright, so we start at the 5th fret, 2nd uh, string. Um, you can choose which finger you like. Uh, I prefer the middle finger because uh, it's a little bit stronger. Um, so you play the open uh, E, the top string. And then you play the two bottom strings at the same time. So you get your both fingers and you pluck at the same time. So you get this resonating sound, alright? We're at the 5th fret. And then you play open again. And then you slide to the 8th fret. And then you go 7, open, 5, right? So, 5. Right? And then you change uh, position a little bit and you go to 5th um, fret with the index on the 2nd string and with your ring finger you go to the 7th uh, fret on the 3rd string uh, and you play so you play 7, 5, 7, open 2nd string so we get so that's the first part not too hard and then we go actually to a power chord shape and we go to the fifth fret on the A string and then 7-7 seven, seven below so so you play the fifth fret what just that string and then you pluck again with both uh, with your index and your middle finger uh, the both on the fingers on seventh fret so and then you keep your index on the A string, but you drop your two fingers um, just one string lower. So it's still 7-7 seven, seven below each other, but on the um, G string and the uh, B string. So we got... And then you just play so sorry. All right, so and he plays a little bit with the amount of times he plays both things, uh, so he can play. Or just play once. That's uh, he changes it in the song. Um, so that's actually the basic part, and that's uh, the biggest part of the song. So you already know that. Congratulations! And now we head to the um, bridge part between the chorus and the verse. So after a couple of times, after um, well, after the last sentence of the um, verse, he plays this. And he starts with the chorus. So let's take a look at that. So we're at the last part of the verse, so this shape. And then he plays. And he goes to a bar chord. So it's 7, 9, 9, 
eight. And he plays it once and then he plays. So it's a ninth fret, third string, seventh fret, then uh, tenth fret on the uh, A string, second string, and then seventh fret. So. Right, and then the same power chord, but um, on five, seven, seven, uh, six, and then it does a bend on the seventh fret, and he goes so it bends, release, just keep the string and just bend it down again, five. So you play that two times. So we got. Right? So, and then the chorus starts. Alright, so we're at the chorus. I'll just play the chorus very quickly and then we go through it. So, this is what it should sound like. same again so let's take a look at the chords all right so the chords are uh, a bar chord at the uh, third fret so it's a three five five four and then you go up to the seventh fret same shape seven nine nine eight and then you go one step below uh, still seven nine nine eight but just one string lower every finger Right, so he plays um, during the chorus. He plays just the top string and then so open down mute down up. So and then when he goes up, he slides up to the seventh fret. So. So he slides up. So. Right? And then he goes down. And you release your middle finger for now. So. So you play up. Up, down, and when you go down, you put your finger on the eighth fret. So, and then up, open, down again, close, and then so he does it a couple of times. So just pay attention now. You know how it goes. So, so that might take a little practice. Uh, it's it's kind of hard to explain and and. Um, tell you every step but um, that's what it should sound like I played I'll play it uh, once more very slowly so so that's the hammer on there right okay so he plays at the lower part So you just go back to the uh, three five five four chords uh, up to a seven, and then you play the open E, and you uh, use a whammy bar. If you have a whammy bar, use it. Just push it in the right rhythm. If you don't have a whammy bar, just let it ring, or play the string a couple of times, and then after um, the the open note, uh, he plays to start again. So he hammers on on the top string. On the second fret, so and then he starts playing again um, the same piece, still the whammy bar, and then after that part, the verse starts again. So he just plays. That's um, that's it, and that's um, the entire chorus. Uh, you know all the um, chords you should know. You know the shapes uh, and and the, the order. 
Um, when he plays this uh, low um, chords, he plays like we just saw the hammer on. So this. Uh, but he plays a hammer on pull off too sometimes, so that goes. Uh, so that's practically the same. You can just practice that. You can um, just choose when you play what or uh, listen to the CD. Um, but right, so this is the entire song, and then the next part uh, is a solo part. <laughs> 